वंदे वाचित लाभाय कर्म किं तन्न कथ्यते किं दंपति मिथिब्रूया मुदाहो दंपति इति वी वर लुकिंग एट द वे इंद्रा केम एंड स्टूड इन फ्रंट ऑफ द आर्मी द आर्मी हैड ऑलरेडी they they came together and they started fighting so the next few uh, uh, the next two shlokas are how the two armies came together and then a big gadyam on how uh, 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 the um, deva soldiers were all looking like and what they were doing what they were doing in the um, uh, um, army that is being described in another uh, gadyam followed by two shlokas okay we'll see that now भीमं भीमेन तस्याथ सैन्यं सैन्येन विद्वषां समगच्छत कल्पान्ते सागरेण इव सागरः सिंपल श्लोक बट द ब्यूटी ऑफ इट इज जस्ट इन सिंपल वर्ड्स ओनली हियर सो सैन्यं सैन्येन समगच्छत दैट्स योर मेन सेंटेंस हियर वन आर्मी जॉइंड और केम टुगेदर विद अनदर आर्मी they uh, met the other army whose army met with the whose army tasya sainyam because we are already in the description of indra because we stopped with sharirena kevalam avatishtata sena mukhe he just stopped uh, and came only with his body he was standing in front of the army whereas he was mentally fighting the entire army that is what we understood from the gadyam that ended there so here tasya sainyam ittute indrasya sainyam so we take it from the earlier paragraph and uh, understand it so atha after indra came and stood in front uh, tasya sainyam indrasya sainyam vidvisham sainyena shatrunam sainyena saha uh, samagachata it uh, uh, came together uh, sangachati samagachata how were the two of them so tasya sainyam tasya bhimam sainyam indra's army itself was looking very uh, fearful army vidvisham bhimena sainyena the uh, enemy's army was also looking very fearful or terrible to look at so tasya bhimam sainyam vidvisham bhimena sainyena samagachata how was it looking like now the upama he gives here is kalpante sagarena sagaraha yatha samagacha tatha how uh, at the end of kalpa that is where you have the pralaya kalam in the pralaya kala when the different four uh, samudras come together now uh, uh, actually sapta samudras are there there are seven uh, uh, oceans are there but here we, we can say whichever samudram came and joined with the other samudram because in during pralaya kala everything tries to drown the earth right and destruction starts happening at that point of time it looked as if when when two oceans came together and hit each other or met each other that is how this army looked like ha huh? so kalpante at the end of a kalpa sagarena sagaraha iva sagaraha one ocean sagarena yatha samagachata just like how it met another ocean in the same way one terrible army that is indra's army met with the shatru's army okay the effect of all that he will not describe how the whole thing fought first he describes how indra's army was looking like and how the indra's armies uh, you know the soldiers were all the, the deva soldiers were all uh, how what were they behaving and then they talk about the asuras uh, uh, victory hmm? bhimam bhimena tasyatha sainyam sainyena vidvisham samagachchata kalpante sagarena iva sagarah now when both armies were standing together what were their reaction like when they met so the moment they met each other both the uh, warriors in both the armies were so um, um, powerful and courageous that they were only looking for the devapati or the danavapati the danava that is the asura soldiers were looking for where is ko devapati and the um, uh, um, deva soldiers were all looking for danavapati because they were they wanted to show off their courage and they they wanted to first prove their worth also and that's why they were looking for the uh, leader so that with the fall of the leader the victory is theirs right so the next shloka yavat 
ಜಿಯಾವಲಯ ಅವಲೀಢ ಶಿಖರ ಕ್ರೂರ ಪ್ರಕಾರ ಧ್ವನತ್ ಚಾಪ ವ್ಯಾಪೃತ ಪಾಣಿಭಿ ಸ್ಥಪುಟಿತ ನಾಸೀರಂ ಆಸೀದ್ ಭಟೈ ತಾವತ್ ದೇವಪತಿ ಕ್ವ ದಾನವಪತಿ ಕ್ವ ಇತಿ ಪ್ರವೃತ್ತೈ ಕ್ರುಧ ಸೇನಾ ರಕ್ಷಿಭಿರೇವ ತತ್ರ ಮಹತೆಯ ಯುದ್ಧಾಯ ಬದ್ಧಾಮತಿ ಸೇನಾ ರಕ್ಷಿಭಿರೇವ ತತ್ರ ಮಹತೆಯ ಯುದ್ಧಾಯ ಬದ್ಧಾಮತಿ ಸೇನಾ ರಕ್ಷಿಭಿ ದ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಹೂ ಆರ್ ಪ್ರೊಟೆಕ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ದ ಆರ್ಮೀಸ್ ಬೋತ್ ಆರ್ಮೀಸ್ ಸೇನಾ ರಕ್ಷಿಭಿ ತತ್ರ ಅಟ್ ದಟ್ ಯುದ್ಧೆ ಯುದ್ಧೆ ಮಹತೆಯ ಯುದ್ಧಾಯ ಮತಿ ಬದ್ಧ ಸೇನಾ ರಕ್ಷಿಭಿ ಮತಿ ಬದ್ಧ ದ ಆರ್ಮಿ ಪ್ರೊಟೆಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಹೂ ಆರ್ ರೆಸ್ಪಾನ್ಸಿಬಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ಪ್ರೊಟೆಕ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಆರ್ಮಿ ದೇ ಆಂಗ್ರಿಲಿ ಆಸ್ಟ್ ಎವ್ರಿವೇರ್ ತಾವತ್ ಕ್ವ ದಾ ದೇವಪತಿ ಕ್ವ ದಾನವಪತಿ ಇತಿ ಕ್ರುಧ ಪ್ರವೃತ್ತೈ ಸೇನಾ ರಕ್ಷಿಭಿ ವಿತ್ ಆಂಗರ್ ದೇ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟೆಡ್ ಟಾಕಿಂಗ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ವೇರ್ ದ ಟಾಪ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಈಸ್ ವೇರ್ ದ ಲೀಡರ್ ಇಸ್ ರೈಟ್ ಸೋ ಸೇಂಗ್ ದೇರ್ ಮತಿ ಬುದ್ಧಿ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಅ ವೆರಿ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ರಿಸಾಲ್ವ್ ಫಾರ್ ಅ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಬ್ಯಾಟಲ್ ಮಹತೆ ಯುದ್ಧಾಯ ಮತಿ ಬದ್ಧ ದೇ ರಿಸಾಲ್ವ್ ಫಾರ್ ಅ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ Uh, they they were prepared for a great battle now what was happening at that point of time yavat when just as the army that is the uh, different armies of both the uh, asuras and the devas they arranged themselves in divisions right they, they as they met everything happened within minutes so you can't talk about you know after the uh, indra came and stood and then there was a lapse of time and then the two armies came together and then they arranged themselves no that is not how everything seems to happen at the same time so you have to imagine it with that speed so yavat jya valaya avalidha shikhara krura prakara dhvanat chapa vyaprata pani bihi bhataihi so bhataihi the warriors how were the warriors they ನಾಸೀರಂ ಸ್ಥಪುಟಿತ ಸ್ಥಪುಟಿತ ವ್ಯತ್ಯಾಸಿತ ಆರ್ ವಿಷಮೀಕೃತ ಇನ್ ದ ಸೆನ್ಸ್ ದೇ ಸೆಪರೇಟೆಡ್ ದೆಮ್ ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಡಿವಿಷನ್ಸ್ ವಿಷಮ ಸಮ ಇಸ್ ದೇ ವೆರ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಇಫ್ ಆಲ್ ದಿ ಸೋಲ್ಜರ್ಸ್ ವೆರ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಒನ್ ಲೈನ್ ಆಸ್ ಅ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಹೌ ಯು ನೋ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ಅ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ಇನ್ ಅ ಸ್ಕೂಲ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಇನ್ ಅನ್ ಅಸೆಂಬ್ಲಿ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಹೌ ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ದೇ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟೆಡ್ ಸೆಪರೇಟಿಂಗ್ ದೆಮ್ ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಪುಟಿಂಗ್ ದೆಮ್ ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಡಿವಿಷನ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಥಪುಟಿತ like how grade wise kids stand right automatically when they come to the assembly hall they will look for their grade and stand in that particular line that is how it was nobody has to tell them where their line is not initially but after a few months if you go and look at the school that's how it will be in india and all we have this assembly concept so in that manner the bhataihi all the soldiers arrange themselves automatically sthaputitam nasiram ಭಟೈ ಸ್ಥಪುಟಿತ ಆಸೀತ್ ನಾಸೀರಂ ದ ಸೇನಾ ಮುಖಂ ದ ಅಗ್ರಸೇನ ದ ಫ್ರಂಟ್ ಪೋರ್ಷನ್ ದಟ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟೆಡ್ ಅರೇಂಜಿಂಗ್ ದೆಮ್ ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಡಿವಿಷನ್ಸ್ ಸ್ಥಪುಟಿತ ಆಸೀತ್ ಕೈ ಭಟೈ ಬೈ ದ ವಾರಿಯರ್ಸ್ ಹೌ ಆರ್ ದ ವಾರಿಯರ್ಸ್ ನಾವು ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ದ ಬೋಸ್ ಇನ್ ದೇರ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಚಾಪ ವ್ಯಾಪೃತ ಪಾಣಿಭಿ ಪಾಣಿಭಿ ದೇರ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ವರ್ ವ್ಯಾಪೃತ ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಕನೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಆರ್ ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ um uh, involved in the bow they had a bow in hand why was it involved he gives three different adjectives for that chapa and everything has come into one adjective qualifying bhata right so yavat in the meantime what happened jya valaya avalidaha chapaha or jya valaya avalida shikaraha chapaha ಕ್ರೂರ ಪ್ರಕಾರ ಚಾಪ ಧ್ವನತ್ ಚಾಪ ಆಲ್ ತ್ರೀ ಆರ್ ಅಡ್ಜೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಚಾಪ ಅಂಡ್ ತಾದೃಶ ಚಾಪೆ ವ್ಯಾಪೃತ ಪಾಣಿ ಅಂಡ್ ದೇ ದೇರ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ವರ್ ಇನ್ವಾಲ್ವ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ಸಚ್ ಅ ಟೈಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಬೋ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ವಾರಿಯರ್ಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಸಚ್ ಅ ಬೋ ಹೌ ವಾಸ್ ದ ಬೋ ನಾ ಜಿಯಾ ಇಸ್ ದ ಸ್ಟ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಬೋ ಅಂಡ್ ದಟ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಜಿಯಾ ವಲಯ ಅವಲೀಡ ಶಿಖರ ದ ಟಾಪ್ ಪೋರ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಬೋ ವಾಸ್ Uh, um, I mean, the, the string was touching the top portion of the bow. So, Jya Valayena Avalidaha Shikaraha Yasyasaha. Uh, uh, Avalidaha is actually, uh, Lih Dhatu means lick. Here it is, Avalidaha is actually touching. Hmm? 
so it was touching the top portion that is they had just uh, uh, tied the string to the top portion of the bow next krura prakara the, the method uh, uh, it looked very cruel it seemed as if it can adopt a very cruel process krura marga yukta so krura prakara or krura prakarena dhvanat that also you can say it was dhvanat it was resounding in a very cruel manner the sound that came from it was very uh, hard to hear it was a very uh, uh, it uh, induced fear in everybody tadrisha chape vyaprata pani bihi bhataihi so the, the the first row had warriors who had bows in their hand the arrangement of sena is usually in such a way that the arrows have a shorter distance of coverage than um, maybe the bigger uh, um, whatever i don't know uh, weapons or something like that so the agramukha had um, uh, arrow i mean uh, bow bearers in the front yavat uh, just as the army with the um, warriors who had the bow in their hand and the bow was resounding it the the string of its uh, bow was touching the top and uh, it had it was resounding very cruelly uh, they had such a bow in their hand and these warriors uh, by these warriors nasiram the sena or the army was sthaputitam asit it uh, uh, got arranged in a, in divisions just as if the front was separated into divisions tavat at that point of time at that same time the army protectors or the officials of the army sena rakshibihi they kept asking angrily asked krudha pravrittaihi they had started to ask ko danavapatihi ko devapatihi so you should take it as sena rakshibihi deva sena rakshibihi ko danavapatihi iti prashtam Uh, and uh, danava asura sena rakshibihi kwa devapati iti prashtam that is how you can say it's it's only when you are afraid that you will look for your own leader if you are not afraid and you want to show your valor you will look for the leader of the other opposite army because you want to kill him and gain victory tatra iti tatra mahate yuddhaya baddha matihi sena rakshibihi matihi baddha they had a great resolve at that point of time uh, now uh, if, here, uh, ah yes uh, so that ja is that string right yes so what is valaya there valaya is see the string is uh, a very short string so the moment you cannot just normally take it and tie it on the top so you have to pull down the bow and take this it is like one elastic thing right so it will so that it can be very tight valaya is the round shape that the string takes when you pull it and touch the top of the bow so it will not be just a straight string that is why he says this the the round shape of the string jya valayam the round string okay literally that's what it means jya valayena avalidaha shikara okay yeah so yavat jya valaya avalidha shikara krura prakara dhvana chapa vyaprita pani bhis thaputitam nasiram asid asid bhataihi tavad devapati kwa danavapati kweti pravrutte kruda sena rakshi bhireva tatra mahate yuddhaya baddhamati next is a description of the warriors uh, on the devas side hmm? let's go slowly with this ha huh. can you read ah tadanu shunasire eva sva nasiram upeyushi chira bhukta bhartru pinda anrut anrunya sampadana avasara labha sambhavita utsahataya trini kritya jeevitani विमत विमत बला इव विधूय समर भय विकोषाणी शस्त्र अस्त्र मंडला विस्मृत भर्तृ विम कदाचि कदाचिदार पिभवान् मना मनागपि अनपेक्ष्य जयश्री जयश्रिय 
अनु अनुपत पतंतीम इव मित्र वरुथिनीम सो तदनु शुनासीरे स्वनासीरम उपेयुषी सति शुनासीरे एव स्वन दैट इज एज इंद्रा केम व्हेन इंद्रा हैड रीड्स द नासीरा और द सेना मुखम द फ्रंट ऑफ द सेना shunasira is actually it's a very peculiar word uh, i think i don't know if i've mentioned it before shuna shunaha is vayu and siraha is surya uh, the lord who uh, who has both vayu and uh, surya in his uh, fold that is indra so shunasiraha indraha nasiram upayivan he came to the front of the uh, army Uh, when at that point of time when he came to that uh, front of the army upeyushi sati how were the uh, uh, vibhuda i think if you go a uh, bit further at the end you will see apratibhata uh, middle of the gadyam the gadyam itself you can split it into two portions and uh, there you will find apratibhata ha vibhuda bhata ha sapalyam manaishu hu akshisahasram amarapate he the vibhuda bhata ha the uh, uh, everything is an adjective to that vibhuda bhataha so the deva soldiers um uh, whatever they were performing is what is being described now hmm? now the first thing is why were they having so much of enthusiasm and standing in front so the the first thing that is there is uh, uh, forget about parakrama and everything it is loyalty that he wants to point out चिर भुक्त भर्तृपिंड आंद्रिण्य संपादन अवसर लाभ संपावित उत्साह उत्साह बिकॉज ऑफ ओइंग टू उत्साह एंथूसियाजम दे हेड ग्रेट एंथूसियाजम नो वाट इज दिसंथूसियाजम फॉर लॉन्ग दे हेव बीन ईटिंग हिस्स फुड रईट दे बीन लिविंग ऑफ ऑफ हिम सो चिर भुक्त भर्तृपिंड पिंड इज अन्न दे बीन ईटिंग हिस्स फुड प्रोवैडेड बै भर्तृ भर्त इज इंद्र हिर् so chira bhukta bhartra pinda uh, they have to repay that they are in debt here so how do they repay that andrinya sampadana avasara labha now they had the opportunity to be free of that debt andrinasya bhavah andrinyam arinam is a debt andrina is being free of debt so an andrinya sampadana in order to be free and uh, uh, in order to gain that uh, state of being free of debt debt sorry uh, um, no loan they should not have any loan loan free life right so here he has given him the uh, uh, indra has given protection and they want to repay that for that the opportunity has been attained at this point so avasara labha संभावित उत्साह उत्साहतया उत्पादित उत्साह बिकॉज़ दे गॉट द ऑपर्चुनिटी टू रीपे हिम दे वर मोर एंथूसियास्टिक एंड दैट इज एंड बिकॉज़ ऑफ दैट रीजन व्हाट डिड दे डू नाउ विमत बलानि अम स्व स्व जीवितानि त्रिनीकृत्य विमत बलानि इव स्व जीवितानि त्रिनीकृत्य सो विमत विमत इज सम्मत you are in concordance with someone that is sammatam vimatam you are not in concordance that is is one of the opposite uh, uh, camp that is vimata so here vimataha is shatru so shatru balani eva just like how you know uh, you don't think high of an enemy's life you want to kill him because he is an enemy and you are there in the battlefield you want to first kill him so you you will not think high of the enemy's lives so vimata balani यथा त्रिनी कुर्वन्ति तथा स्व जीवितानि अपि त्रिनी कुर्वन्ति दे थॉट ऑफ देयर लाइव्स आल्सो एज नियर यू नो त्रिनी करणम इज इक्वल टू ग्रास सो दे थॉट देयर लाइव्स आल्सो एज लो एज दैट ऑफ द एनिमीज लाइफ व्हाई बिकॉज़ दे वांटेड टू रीपे द डेट दे वर इवन विलिंग टू गिव अप देयर लाइव्स दे वर विलिंग टू सैक्रिफाइस देयर लाइव्स नेक्स्ट समर भय विधूय विधूय टू थिंग्स वन इज कंपनम एंड रिमूविंग बोथ इट कैन मीन सो वी कैन टेक इट एस दे शुक ऑफ द फियर ऑफ बैटल समर भय विधूय कंपनम कृवा सो समर भय विधूय हाउ डू दे डू दैट दे टुक आउट द वेपन्स फ्रॉम द कोश 
and they were shaking their weapons to show you know i'm going to kill you in a battle they have to show that they are enthusiastic and so they removed their astra and shastra from their uh, kosha from the cover or the sheath so shastra astra mandalani vikoshani shastra astra mandalani iva vikoshani vigatah koshah yasmat so those uh, uh, weapons they had removed from their sheath and they were shaking it they they were just as how they were shaking their weapons they shook the, shook off the fear of battle also from their minds so samara bhayam api manas manasah nishkasya next vismritya bhartr vimananaha kadachitkihi putradara paribhavana iva see they are all citizens of indra and at some point or the other everyone has even if it is a great king everyone has some problem with the king or what or the ruler right he would have done some uh, insult or uh, uh, the, the all those things he, they don't uh, uh, worry about it too much hmm? uh, forget the, the occasional insults that indra might have done because of his position bhartr vimananaha vimanana is paribhava so bhartr vimanana kadachitkihi bhartr vimanaha kadachit bhavaha kadachitki it must have happened sometime i don't know when the, those little little paribhavaha those uh, uh, small insults that indra might have done even if it is a big insult at that point of time andranya sampadana avasara labha alya tamil la we have this na senjotru kadan theerka and it's a very nice uh, expression the senjotru kadan is literally you you have eaten something from someone's you know the so you eat in the salt of their house and you have to repay that that type of uh, thing is what he says here so chirabhukta pinda andranya sampadanam when you have to repay you don't think of all these small small insults that you have faced so bhartru vimanana kadachitkihi bhartru vimanana ha vismritya they forgot all that and they were ready to fight how did why did they forget just like how you forget the small things that your family does to you putra dara paribhavana iva just like how you forget that of the family done by your putra dara dara ha wife so anything that your wife does anything that your son does you immediately forget you don't take it you may point it out you may fight about it but you don't uh, when there is something to be done at that point of your time you forget all that vismritya managapi anapekshya jayashriyam jayashriyam managapi anapekshya they did not even think about the victory jayashri without paying any attention to the victory that is uh, uh, they they did not think about the phala they were only thinking about the karma that they need to do here they had they they have arrived at the battlefield and their duty is to perform that's it their duty is to do their duty that's all fight right not think about the phalam that will that they will uh, get so jaya shriyam anapeksha without expecting or paying attention even a little manakapi kinchidapi jaya shriyam anapeksha without paying attention to victory which was anupatan team which is just following them that's what they were thinking they thought just like how every battle happened they will they have the uh, um, a plus point of you know bhagyam on their side and they will win that is what they have been thinking so far so what is he comparing to that jayashri with anupatantim mitra varuthinin iva anupatantim mitra varuthini allies mitra varuthini is sena mitra sena ya anupatanti asti tadrisha mitra sena manapekshya you will never look at the comforts and everything of your allies you will only keep your attention on the enemy army and not your allies so just like how you will not pay without paying attention to the allies army which is following you anupatanti mitra varuthini iva jayashriyam anapekshya not thinking about jayashri i don't think you can connect anupatanti with jayashri hmm? so it is better to Uh, uh connected with mitra varuthini so just like how we do not huh 
is okay so just like how we do not pay any attention to the following ally armies in the same way the uh, warriors deva warriors did not pay any attention to the victory hmm. next hoshyantaha shara anala archishi shara sharirani cheshyantaha sharadindu sundarani yashah kandalani mahishaniva matangajan sara ಸಾರಮೇಯಾನಿವ ಸಾರಮೇಯಾನಿವ ಸೈಂಧವಾನ್ ಪಾಂಸು ಕಣಾ ಕಣಾನಿವ ಪದ ಪದಾತಿ ಗಣಾನ್ ಮಶಕಾನಿವ ಮಹಾರಥಿಖಾನ್ ಕುಸು ಕುಸುಮ ವಿಹಾರಾನ್ ಇವ ಕುಂತ ತೋಮರ ಮುದ್ಗರ ಪ್ರಾಹಾರಾನ್ ಪಟವಾಸ ವೃಷ್ಟಿಮಿವ ಬಾಣ ವೃಷ್ಟಿ ವೃಷ್ಟಿಮಿ ಮನ್ಯಮಾನ Uh, so what were they going to do hoshyantaha they were doing homa they wanted to do one uh, uh, homa of their shariram their they wanted to sacrifice themselves in the fire of arrows so shara anala that is a rupakam there so shara sharaha eva anala the arrows are like um, uh, fire and anala archihi archihi is flame the so the arrows were like the different flames of a fire and in that flame they wanted to sacrifice their lives their bodies sharirani hoshyantaha homam karishyantaha so they wanted to throw their uh, uh, bodies into the fire of arrows hmm? next sharadindu sundarani yashah kandalani cheshyantaha cheshyati chinoti uh, chinoti means to collect right the, it is the little akara little akara of that so cheshyantaha they are collecting or they are growing it is as if they are trying to collect yashah kandalani here also it is rupakam yashah is kirti kirti is like a kandala or sprouts praroha yashah prarohan they look like sharadindu sundarani the autumnal moon Uh, is very beautiful because you don't have much of clouds and it's very big and so uh, it's closer to the earth and all that so sharadindu the autumnal moon is so beautiful uh, and it is white in the kavi samaya yashas is uh, equated to white hmm? uh, so black is apayashaha and white is yashaha so here yashah kandalani sharadindu sundarani yashah kandalani cheshyantaha cheshyantaha it was as if they were collecting sprouts of fame yashah kandalani which was beautiful like the autumnal moon next all of the others will go to manyamana ha you the, the entire thing is one uh, adjective to the uh, vibhuda bataha manyamana ha they were thinking how what did they thought of different animals and soldiers and everything and uh, weapons that were there in the yuddha as something very trivial they did not give much importance to the uh, um, fearsome uh, objects that were there in the battlefield that is the idea here so mahishan eva matangajan matangajan those great elephants they thought of them as mahishaha just as buffaloes saindavan the horses as sarameyan eva they thought of uh, the horses the look like dogs for them it is it's very trivial not something to be considered at all uh, uh, so they they were reliant on their parakrama so much their veeram next padati ganan padati ganaha is foot soldiers padati ganan pamsu kanani eva just like dust speckles of dust pamsu kanani va they looked at the foot soldiers maharathikane those who were uh, uh, going on great chariots maharathikane mashakane iva as if they were like mosquitoes uh, then the different types of weapons he is naming them kunta tomara mudgara praharan the hits that come from the different uh, um, weapons like kunta kunta is a spear uh, tomara is uh, also a spear but it is more bigger and uh, heavier uh, it's probably like a lance and then mudgara is a hammer or a club so kunta tomara praharan praharan the uh, hits that come from these um, weapons they thought it was equal to 
Kusuma Vihara, it was like flowers uh, being thrown upon them. Uh, next, Bana Vrishti Mapi, even the uh, uh, rain of arrows, they thought of it as Patavasa Vrishti Miva. Patavasa is like powder, the scented powder that you wear. Uh, they thought the arrows were like the scented powders. So, Iti Manyamana, huh? Manyamana, huh? Vibuda Bataha. Okay. So, Mahishaniva, Matangajana, Sarameyaniva, Sindavana, Pamsu Kananiva, Padati Ganane. Mashakaniva, Maharathikana, Kusuma Vihara Niva, Kunta Tomara, Mudgara, uh, Praharan. Praharaha is uh, hitting, Praharati. And uh, Patavasa Vrishti Miva, Bhana Vrishti Mapi, Anyamana. Ha. Next. Anyamana Api, Harshata Hasa Mukharaha, Naka, Nakarayudha Iva, Harinar Bhakeshu, Naga, Naga. Nagantaka iva rajileshu, Dantavala iva kadali vaneshu, Davanala iva jirna shal, shalma, shalmali gulmeshu, Nishankam avagahamana, avagahamana danaveshu. Hanyamana hmm. uh, ha api, even though they were being killed or being hit by the asuras. The Deva warriors were Harsha Attahasa Mukaraha. They, they were laughing very happily. Attahasam is not a, just a smile. There are different types of smiles. You have Smita, you have Mandahasa, Hasaha, Attahasaha. Attahasaha is actually that you, you say for Shiva. Shiva's Attahasa. It's uh, the very big laughter. So they were happily laughing and being noisy about it. So Mukharaha, Harsha Attahasat Mukharaha. They were noisy because of the happy laughter, even though they were being killed. Hanyamanaha Api, Harsha Attahasa Mukharaha. The next is all uh, going to Avagahama, Dhanaveshu Avagahamanaha. Dhanaveshu uh, among the Asuras, Nishankam, without any fear, without any doubt. Avagahamana, they were actually, um, you know, Avagahate means they were taking a bath. It's uh, uh, Nadyam Avagahate, you, you are immersing yourself into the water. That's how they were here. So, Dhanaveshu Nishankam Avagahamana, they were immersing themselves into the Asura army, just like how everything is an Upama here. Nakara Ayudaha Harina Arbhakeshu Iva. If there is a herd of deer, Harina Arbakaha, that too, all of those deers are very small, uh, you know, deer cubs there, mm? uh, uh, small ones, young ones are there. So, among them, just like how a, a lions would just fall on them or would just uh, merge into them and, uh, you know, create a havoc. That is how these Vibhuda Bataha Dhanaveshu Avagahamana. So, Nakara Ayudaha, Nakara Ayudam Yasya, it is Simhaha. So, Simhaha Yatha Mruga Arbhakeshu, uh, among the deer cubs, how they just fall on them in that manner. Next, Nagantakaha, Nagana Mantakaha Garudaha. So, Garudaha Yatha Rajileshu, Yatha Rajileshu, Rajilaha is uh, again uh, Jala Sarpaha. He says, hmm? Yeah, Jala Sarpaha, Jala Vyalaha. That is a Rajila. The, the, uh, in a, in a river, if there are a lot of uh, water serpents there and uh, Garuda with its eyesight, it will just dive and swoop and take that uh, snake, right? That is how they were. Huh? Rajileshu, among a crowd of serpents, uh, uh, just like how Garuda is on serpents. And then Dantavalaha Iva Kadali Vaneshu. Uh, bull in a china shop. That's, that's the expression you have in English. So, Dantavalaha Kadali Vaneshu. Kadali Vaneshu among in uh, bam, uh, banana groves. Kadali Vaneshu, Dantavalaha Iva, uh, like elephants falling on them. And uh, um, Jirna Shalmali Gulmeshu. Shalmali Gulmaha is bushes which are Jirna, that is, they are decaying or decayed. They are completely dried. On dried uh, Shalmali bushes, fire, like fire. Dantavalaha Iva Kadali Vaneshu Dava Analaha Dava Anala 
uh, uh, Davagni is the Agni which is supposed to be there in the ocean to keep the ocean in check. There is supposed to be a, a, a fire underneath the ocean which is uh, uh, slowly um, evaporating the waters to keep it in check. That is also something accepted in Kavi Samaya. Just like how I said, Yashas is white in Kavi Samaya. Kavi Samaya is a convention that is followed in the poetry world. Hmm? So here, Dava Nalaha is that uh, celestial fire. If that fire falls on Jirna Shalmali Gulma, which is the dead Shalmali bushes, then you must imagine how the destruction will happen. Tadrisham Nishankam, in that manner, without any doubt that they will not win. They had no doubt about it. They, they, they knew that they were going to win or they, they had no doubt about it. Tadrishankam, without any doubt. Dhanaveshu avagahamanaha. As, the, as they were get, uh, uh, immersing or merging themselves into the asuras. Next. Now, uh, the different um, ayudhas with which, what and what they were doing with the ayudhas. That is the next part. Praharantaha parashvadaihi, krutantaha kuntaihi, nipatayantaha kripani kabhihi, abhignantaha ಶತಘ್ನೀಭಿಂಡಪಾಲೈಹಿಕಿರಂತಹಿಕ್ಷಿಣ್ವಂತಹಿಪಣೀಕಾಭಿಅಭಿಮೃದ್ಗಂತ
ಸೊ ಪರಿಗೈಹಿ ಅರ್ಗಳೈಹಿ ಅಭಿಮಗ್ನಂತಹ ಅಭಿಮೃದ್ಗನ್ ಮೃದ್ಗಂತಹ ದೇರ್ ಹಿಟಿಂಗ್ ಲಾಂಗಲೈಹಿ ಪ್ಲೌಸ್ ಟು ಪ್ಲೌ ಅ ಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಹಲಹ ಹಲೈಹಿ ಆಕರ್ಷಂತಹ ದೇವರ್ ಪುಳ್ಳಿಂಗ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಆವಿದ್ಯಂತಹ ಮುಸಲೈಹಿ ದೇವರ್ ಹಿಟಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ಮುಸಲ ಇಸ್ ದಟ್ ಪೆಸ್ಟಲ್ ನಾ ದ ಮಾರ್ಟರ್ ಇನ್ ಪೆಸ್ಟಲ್ ಒಲಕ್ಕೆಂಬ Uh, that which you used to hit uh, rice to make powder that is musala musalaihi avidhyanta these are all um, uh, this and the next uh, sm- uh, this portion is veera rasam until now the next part is mostly vibhatsa rasam where they are describing the result of all this action uh, he saw he was just talking about how see that is where the difference is you are describing a battlefield you can see both veera rasam and vibhatsa vibhatsa is jugupsa or uh, arvarup the disgust you can even see disgust and at the same time you can see courage there until now if you are describing only the way the weapons are being used then it is veera the result of it how the entire battlefield was like that shows the garaha uh, so what is bin, bin, bindi palaihi uh, bindi oh that i didn't uh, khandayantaha bindi palaihi bindi palam is uh, uh, that that is the short uh, spike you know um, you can throw like the ninja spears and all are there right you can throw with your hand those type of small weapons are called bindi pala you can also shoot uh, small small arrows with a tube uh, poison arrows you put it in a tube and then you blow through the tube and it will go and hit the uh, enemy that is called bindi pala so bindi palaihi khandayantaha they were cutting everywhere or killing people with that short weapons apar apaharanto jayadhwajan avabhindanto vara vanan vichindantaha dhanur gunan visransayantaha sarathin pravartayantaha raktavahinihi paritoshayantaha ಕಟಪೂತನಾ ಲಿಂಪಂತ ಶರೀರಾಂ ರಕ್ತಧಾರಾಭಿ ಆವೇಷ್ಟ್ಯಂತ ಕರೆಷು ಆಂತ್ರಮಾಲಿಕಾ ಪರಿಕ್ರಮಂತ ಮುಂಡಮಂಡಲು ಪರಿಷ್ಖಲಂತ ಕಬಂಧೇಶು ಅಪಶ್ಯಂತ ಪುತ್ರಾಣಿ ರಣೇಹತಾನ್ ಅತೃಪ್ತ್ಯಂತ ಅಪಹರಂತಹ the asuras were flying so they kept pulling them so apaharantah they removed all the victory flags and then they avabinta avabindantah varavanan vanan varayati that which protects people from the arrows which is the armor so varavanah is an armor varavanan avabindantah they kept striking at armors dhanur gunane vichindantah they cut off the gunah the uh, bow strings dhanur gunane vichindantah they cut off the bow strings and then uh, sarathine visramsayantah they made the charioteers unsteady visramsayantah they made them fall down naluvardhimba uh, um, that is slip down the sarathis or the charioteers they they made them slip down visram sati is falling down visram sayati is causal here uh, making them fall down next um rakta pravahinihi pravartayantah rakta blood pravahi vahini is uh, nadi so blood rivers they were creating blood rivers they were starting blood rivers pravarta pravart pravartayantah mm, they were causing blood rivers to start kataputanah paritoshayantah they had killed so many people and the whole place was filled with shava uh, uh, corpses and so there are many ghosts which come and feed on those corpses right parasites which come and feed those are called kataputanah shava putanah or shava uh, uh, ghosts that is they were uh, pleasing all those ghosts 
So Kataputanaha Paritosha Yantaha. They were pleasing all the ghosts which feast on the corpses. So this is full of disgust, right? Sharirani Rakta Dharabihi Limpantaha. Limpantaha, they were completely anointing themselves, soaking their bodies, Sharirani, Rakta Dharabihi, with the uh, blood flows. Uh, they were soaking themselves with that. Or in the Limpatina Pusharadina. Completely anointing themselves with that. Kareshu, in their hand, they were uh, uh, rolling. Aveshta Yantaha, they were making a garland in or uh, a Valayam, uh, uh, Kankadam in their hands with what? Antra Malikaha. Antra Malikaha, Aveshta Yantaha. They were, uh, um, uh, I mean, they were uh, uh, circling their hands with the entrails or in intestines. Antra Malika is intestines uh, in their hands. And then they were roaming around the Parikramantaha, um, Munda man Mandaleshu. Munda is only the head, Kabandha is only the trunk, headless trunks. Here, trunkless heads are Munda. Munda Mandaleshu, there were all beheaded heads around and they were moving Sancha Sancharatsu. They were moving around uh, in that uh, uh, area. Pariskalantaha Kabandeshu, uh, headless trunks were around and they were Pariskalantaha. They were faltering on headless corpses. Hmm? Faltering, their steps were, uh, they, they were unsteady there. Then uh, Rane, Hatane, Putrane, Api, Apashyantaha. Their sons were being killed and they were killed in the uh, battlefield. Even those sons, their own sons, they did not see them. Apashyantaha, not seeing even their sons uh, being killed in the army, in the battlefield. Yutham, yutham api pratibatane nipatya atrupyantaha. They were not satisfied atrupyantaha. Even after killing nipatya pratibhatana, the enemy soldiers, yutham, yutham api. Groups and groups, even after felling groups and groups of warriors, uh, enemy soldiers, they were not satisfied. Tadrisha aprati bhataha atripyantaha vibhuda bhataha aprati hataha aprati bhataha prati bhataha is an enemy soldier. Uh, aprati bhataha is one who does not have uh, uh, an enemy soldier. That is, he is um, unopposed. These unopposed Vipuda Bhattaha, Deva soldiers, now what did they do? Because of these actions, Amarapatehe Akshi Sahasram, the fact that Indra had thousands of eyes, was satisfied only on that day. Sapalyam Aneshu. Because he had thousands of eyes, he could see all the different actions that every one of the uh, uh, um, Devas were doing. Huh? The f just the f mere, they gave success to the fact that Indra had thousands of eyes. So, Amarapatehe Akshi Sahasram Sapalyam Anaishuhu Ke Vibudavataha. Got it? Hmm. Now, uh, how did he separate the Sena? Sena Sannivesha. That is, he came, even though they were all fighting, he had to give directions to each and every person in his army to stay in the forward, back, and you move here, you move there. He has to keep on giving because he is the leader, he has to give instructions. So that is what he was doing. The devas had already started fighting and they were fighting. As he came in, the devas had started fighting and Indra started giving instructions. What were the instructions that he gave? Adishya. Adishya cha tata shatamanyuhu antakam agrataha sena mukhe parshvioho asya pavana pavakau prishtataha swasya punya janeshwaram antike eva dhanudam ahava shuran sabha jaitum adhwani vidish vidvisham uh, apam patim shibire uh, ayudak ayudak shatan bhi, uh, bhishajitum ashvine uh, ashvine yau nishi nishi thini nishi thini yodhi yodhini nam vairi uh, vairi varuthini vairi varu varuthinam 
निशव मूत सततवासर भावाय सहस्रभानु अभी तह प्रकाशय आदिश्य आफ्टर दैट शतम I, I told you before, Manyu means Kratu, uh, the one who has performed hundreds of yagas, and it's, he is in this position. So Indra, uh, Adishya, he ordered everybody, and then he heard something. So the uh, uh, the uh, sentence ends afterwards. So what all did he order? Whom all did he order here? Antakam Adishya, he appointed or ordered Antakaha Yamaha. to be in the front of the sena that is to lead the sena sena mukhe at the front of the sena agratah in front of him uh, so sena mukhe front at the uh, beginning of the sena and then agratah is uh, swasya agratah in front of him antakam adishya he ordered yama to stay in front of him parshvayoh both of his sides asya parshvayoh indrasya parshvayoh pavana pavako vayu agni both of them were ordered to be on the sides prishtatah swasya prishtatah at the back of him who was to guard him punya janeshwaram uh, there are many uh, there, there are two different uh, ideas about punya janeshwarah punya janah yakshah yakshanam ishwarah is punya janeshwarah but you also have the next one as antike dhanadam dhanadah dhanam dadati is also kuberah you can't have kubera in two places both back end it, uh, near him right so there is another uh, the the vyakhyana says punya janeshwarah is actually nirrtah uh, who is one of the ashtavasu who is also uh, one particular leader of the yakshas see the eight vasus are uh, also the leaders of the yaksha so you can say that instead of kubera it is nirrtah so nirrtah and he always travels in the southern direction uh, so um, indra kept him uh, uh, behind him okay so swasya prishtatah behind him punya janeshwaram nirrtam uh, adishya he ordered him to be behind him antike eva near him he ordered dhanadah kubera Uh, to do what ahava shuran sabhajayitum ahava yuddha yuddha shuran the great people who were fighting right in order he wanted kubera to honor the battle heroes who else but to give you know kubera the position of honoring the heroes right so he can give whatever wealth he wants he can give them and honor them right so antike eva near him dhanadam ahava shuran अपॉइंटेडरा uh see pavaka and pavana also i didn't think about it before both of them help each other see the pavana vayu uh, uh, helps agni spread everywhere so if they are in the sides then they can spread and protect him and at the same time protect the uh, 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 destroy the enemies from coming towards uh, um indra uh, so avidvisham uh, advani in the path of the enemies apampatim adishya he appointed varuna next shibire at the tent in the camp ayudha kshatan bhishajitum bhishajitum bhishak is a doctor so in order to tend to the wounded ayudha uh, kshatan uh, uh, those who were wounded by the ayudha the weapons he appointed ashwineyo the ashwini twins to tend to the wounded now the last surya what did he ask surya to do he said surya has to always keep on uh, shining brightly around sahasra bhanum abitah prakashayitum adishya 
why did he do that these asuras are very uh, powerful in the night they become more powerful in the night than in the day the in during the day the devas are more powerful that's why any anushthanam any nitya anushthanam that we do we are supposed to do it during the day and never at night sandhya uh, is the last uh, puja that we do at night or the next one is maybe janmashtami or something else unless the time indicates that the puja has to be done at night normally you never do anything beyond 8 o'clock it's called rakshasa veva so they become very strong at that point of time any puja that we do at night will only go to them so nishithini yodhini nam vaira varuthini nam nisha eva mabhut iti he did not want the night to be there at all for the enemy armies vaira varuthini nam for the enemy armies who were yodhini yodhum shilamasya they were capable of uh fighting in the night nishithini yodhini na nishithinyam yodhum shilam asya so they were quite capable of fighting only in the night and that is why they should not have night at all iti thinking thus santata vasara bhavaya there should always be the idea bhava of vasara a day so he asked sahasra bhanuhu surya to keep shining uh, around him always huh let's just finish with this line pratikshamanopi jayashriyam parishankamanah chetasi tapasa shapa vipakam kimapi alika nabho vibhaga seema api adhipat adhipatya lakshanam lakshmim uddishya kalaha kalahaya manayoho amarasura ವಾಹಿನ್ಯೋ ಅಜ್ಞಾನ ವಿಜೃಂಭಿತ ಉಪಲಂಭ ಸಂಭವ ಅಟ್ಟಹಾಸ ಇವ ಪರಮೇಷ್ಠಿ ಘನ ಸ್ತನಿತ ಆಕಸ್ಮಿಕ ಅನಭ್ರ ಎಲ್ಲ ದಾರುಣ ಅಶೃಣೋತ್ ಪ್ರತೀಕ್ಷಮಾಣೋ ಅಪಿ ಜಯಶ್ರಿಯಂ ಈವನ್ ದೂ ಹಿ ವಾಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ವಿಕ್ಟ್ರಿ ಅಟ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಹಿ ವಾಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಫಿಯರಿಂಗ್ you know what could happen you know the result of the sage's uh, curse Ch- chetasi in his mind uh, jayashriyam pratikshamanah api even though he was expecting victory parishankamanah he was fearing tapasa shapa vipakam kimapi chetasi kimapi anirvachaniyam there uh, you know or naradalma there is something which is not right you know so kimapi chetasi in his mind tapasa shapa vipakam parishankamana ha vipakam he was fearing the result the result of the sage's curse he was um, uh, something might happen you know that is what is going on in his mind so the tadrisha uh, indraha ganas tanitam darunam ashrut at that point of time he heard a darunam ghanastanitam a very terrible uh, sound of the uh, uh, thunder ghana stanitam a thick or a loud stanitam is uh, mega uh, garjana he heard the thunder uh, rolling of thunder anabhra eva even without uh, any clouds in the sky he heard ashrunot saha ashrunot he heard that sound now uh, at, wo- at what time did he hear this amara asura vahinyoho kalahayamanayo they both the amara vahini uh, sena and asura sena both of them kalahayamanayo they were fighting about something what were they fighting about halika the whole thing was veera rasa and the pivat sarasam and the greatness and the parakrama and all were described and suddenly he just puts one his touch nilakanta dikshita's touch alika nabha so they are all fighting for some boundary in the sky that boundary itself is alika it is an illusory boundary that they are fighting for and in the akasham they are fighting for some space and their the, the sovereignty also they want a sovereignty or they want to be the lord of something in the akasha which is illusory the boundary itself is nobody knows that the the swargam has from the, this to this that is the boundary of swargam nobody knows about that they are fighting for this huh? 
अलीक अलीक नभो विभाग नभ आकाश अलीक इज मिथ्या सो इल्यूजरी पोर्शन ऑफ द स्काई नभो विभाग सीमा सीमा इज द बॉर्डर दे वॉन्ट टू fight for adhipatya lakshanam lakshmim they were fighting for the lakshmi or the wealth that is being indicated lakshana by the sovereignty adhipatyam of the sky of the border which is alikam which is illusory now seeing two big armies how did he describe the army sagare sagaraha sagarena iva just like two oceans are coming together that is how these armies were coming together so two great armies after describing them like that he says they are fighting kalaha yamana kalaha is quarrel it's not even not a battle yuddha yuddhyamana you can say you know he didn't use that word he says kalaha yamana quarreling it's like two siblings quarreling huh? so kalaha yamana yo uh, over what alika nabho vibhaga seema adhipatya lakshanam lakshmi उद्दिश्य कलहायमो अमर आसुर वाहिन्यो देर अज्ञान सो एक्चुअली दिस इज ई थिंक इट इज इन सप्तमी भक्ति सत्यो विजृंभित उपलब अपॉन सीइंग दिस यू नो वाई दे आर फाइटिंग रीजन फॉर देयर युद्ध परमेष्ठी दट इज ब्रह्म इट सीम्स एस इफ ब्रह्म इज लाफिंग अट्टहास अगेन इट इज लाइक हि इज गिविंग आउट अ ग्रेट लाफ्टर सीइंग दिस इग्नोरेंस विथ विच दे आर फाइटिंग अज्ञान विजृंभित बिकॉज ऑफ द अज्ञान दट इज इंक्रीज एंड हि रिडिक्यूल इट उपलंभ संभवित because the laughter of brahma has arisen because he, he, he ridicules this adhyanam that is there with the two armies amara asura vahinyo because they are fighting over something illusory hmm? so parameshthinah attahasam iva what is this attahasam it, the the thunder that indra hears it is as if uh, brahma is laughing over the futility of this battle right Uh, that is the upama here hmm? so uh, na no, utpreksha sorry uh, he is uh, imagining that the ganastanitam or the thunder is like an atahasa of brahma okay tadrish ganaskanitam akasmikam ganaskanitam akasmat udbhutam ganaskanitam this uh, suddenly that thunder which came and it was anabhre eva akashe anabraha uh, abra is uh, uh, clouds so without any clouds you they heard a uh, terrible sound indra heard such a terrible thunder okay next is he heard the uh, next he saw were dushakuna see he was jayashriyam pratikramana but at the same time he knew in his mind that it is the result of the shapam and because of that result he saw durnimittam and dushyakanam in front of him two things he saw what were the two dushyakanam that is the ill omens bad omens is uh, described in just two small lines read that uh, prahitopi uh, prahitopi sena mukhe pavanah pade pade yat avedyam avedayitum aavavrute tadeva tasya pratikula pavana lakshanam दुर्निमित्तम परिणेमे यद यद च करात अस्य दंभोलिहि तदेकम आयुध विस्रंसनम अपा अश अशनि अश अशनि पतन अशनि पतनम चेति द्वेदा बभूव दुष्यकुणम Dushakunam dveda bhavuva. Dushakunam the ill omens became two here. What were the two things? The first thing was pavana. See on both of his sides, Indra had uh, uh, vayu and uh, uh, agni. So what did he do? Ag- vayu is the person who can go uh, very fast and come back. So he kept sending prahitaha, senamukhe prahitaha, pavanaha. 
so he kept sending pavana to the front of the sena to see what the result was and how the whole army was fighting so prahitaha pavanaha pade pade at every point pavana came back to inform indra about what was happening in the front of the army sena mukhe at the battle front pade pade yat avedyam that which has to be conveyed avedeyitum in order to inform that which has which had to be conveyed prahitaha api pavana mukaha pavanaha even though pavana was sent to the battle front he kept coming back to inform avabrute he came back and that coming back itself iti yat tadeva that itself is a durnimitta why pratikula pavana lakshanam pratikula anukula pavana is uh, that which flows in your own direction if you are going in one direction and the wind blows in that same direction then it is anukula it is appropriate for your travel whereas if it is pratikula it is something that is uh, opposite right uh, so it is um, unfavorable adverse wind that is uh, a dushakunam or a durnimitta tadeva tasya indrasya pratikula pavana lakshanam the unfavorable wind being that indicated unfavorable wind became a durnimittam it became an ill omen parineme parinam parineme is transformed it is also litlakara parinate parineme it became a durnimittam for indra what was the other one yad karat yat asya dambolihi asram sada the vajrayudham that he had in his hand that also slipped from his hand karat asram sada it just slipped from his hand damboli is vajrayudham ha asya dambolihi indrasya vajrayudham karat yat asram sada tadapi ekam that also became one ekam dushakunam iti dveda dushakunam bhuva what is that ayuda visramsanam ashani patam ashani patanam both are considered as dushakunam it so happens that his ayudham is a lightning and the fall of a lightning as you start or as you are in a work itself is a, an illuman so uh, and ayudha visramsanam if you are in fighting and the ayudha the weapon that you are carrying falls down it, it, immediately it creates doubt in your mind right dushakunam is something that creates a doubt and stops you from being confident in your fighting that is what so that ekam ayudha visramsanam slipping off the uh, uh, weapon and ashani patanam falling of lightning iti dveda babuva dushakunam the two different dushakunas are pratikula pavanam and ayudha visramsanam or ashani patam here it so happens that both are the same okay uh, what what is ashani patam ashani is uh, vajra uh, that is um, lightning falling of lightning so the moment you start uh, to go for any work at that moment if you see a lightning fall it means it is a bad omen so shakuna shastra yeah so the dvedha should should it not be taken for his vajrayudham and the lightning as dveda or is it the pavana the the coming back of the pavana because now it is three right yeah, it should be taken as both the pratikula pavanam and uh, uh, this one dviprakara hmm then otherwise it will be weird right see ashani patam ashani patanam and ayudha visramsanam it is the same one and the same but but that's two different actions right that because his he has a vajrayudham which Asya. slipped karat dambolihi asram sata that is one yes and then uh, in the sky there was that lightning right in no 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 his uh, uh, damboli is vajrayudha it is ashani his weapon is the lightning oh what is indra's weapon dambol it is yeah. a lightning right yeah so the fact that his ayudha fell down and his ayudha is the lightning it is just both were indicated in one and the same both oh. the ayudha visramsanam and lightning falling are indicated by only one tad ekam ayudha visramsanam ashanipatam cha that's oh. all okay 
ఇది ద్వేదా దుష్యకునం బబూవ యూ హ్యావ్ టు టేక్ ద ఫస్ట్ వన్ అండ్ దిస్ సెకండ్ వన్ ఓకే ద ప్రతికూల పవనం అండ్ దిస్ yeah or you can actually it, the anvayam is such uh, he has written it in such a manner that tad ekameva damboli uh, sramsanam dvedha abhut it indicated two dushakunams that is also correct only what you said so the no, my, my confusion is uh, yeah. i'm sorry please go ahead hmm. it is what confusion a confusion yeah. so in the in the previous uh, gadyam we saw that uh, he suddenly heard a lightning without the megha right so th- should we consider that as his vajrayudham no 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 that is different that sound just that indicates that some dushyakunam is going to happen and kimapi chetasi you know that shapad vipakam parishankamanah because he was doubting that uh, the the result of the chapa is going to happen he also heard a great sound ganas tanitam he just heard thunder he did not see lightning ashrunot oh. oh that's all okay. if you look at that gadyam properly it says ganas tanitam ashrunot natu apashyat oh okay okay yeah so here it is the only manner where it is confusing is the first sentence is one durnimittam the second sentence is actually only one durnimittam where his weapon slips from his hand but it so happens that the weapon itself is a lightning the second durnimittam can be taken as two because you have two dushakunams there where the falling of lightning and falling of weapon can also be taken oh okay okay i got it now got it సో ఆయుధ విశ్రంసన ఇతది ఏకమేవ దుర్నిమిత్తం ఆయుధ విశ్రంసనం అశని పతనం ఇది ద్వేదా అభూత్ సో ఏకం దుష్యకునం ద్వేధా అభూత్ ఓమన్ ఇల్ ఓమన్ బికేమ్ స్ప్లిట్ ఇన్ టు టూ యాజ్ ఆయుధ విశ్రంసనం అండ్ అశని పాతం దట్ ఈస్ బెటర్ యు ఆర్ డౌట్ క్లారిఫైడ్ సంథింగ్ ఎల్స్ హియర్ గుడ్ ఓకే so with this we will stop then we will go to the jaya prakaram of asura next class okay oh, suspense thriller this is <laughs> we have to wait what happens oh my god <laughs> you have a doubt kamakshi illa illa idi vandutu appuram minnal varudhu romba nana nana ah correct <laughs> the in the light light travels faster sound for travels faster ah in the ఆగా పోట్రకర్ మాతి జమన్ ఇక్క యా టు ఇండికేట్ ది డిఫరెంట్ ఫండ్ నో యా ఓకే 